There have been 83 people killed in Baltimore this year, down from 130 homicides this time last year. Non-fatal shootings are also down with 197 so far this year compared to 291 this time last year. And despite this year's overall drop in violent crime, new data shows homicides and non-fatal shootings are once again moving in the wrong direction, a trend some attribute to the rise in temperatures. You're going to have conflict, whether it's fighting, whether it's robberies, whether it's murder. It, you know, the warm brings everybody out. And with the official start of summer here, one expert says those recent crime trends may only get worse. Fox 25's Vincent Hill takes a closer look at the numbers. Vincent. Well, Kai Maxine, you just heard the pain of that mother for the loss of her 17-year-old. And according to the latest data from Baltimore police, the numbers of homicides and non-fatal shootings are actually on the way up. And one cop says it's just a start. As the temperatures heat up across the city, so do the shootings on the streets of Baltimore. Getting discharging, discharging, 900 block of Abbott, 900 block of Abbott. So they heard 30 gunshots. On Wednesday, a man was shot multiple times. A reference to the discharge in 900 Abbott said it sounds like a machine gun. Miraculously, he survived. On Tuesday, I got a young man hit, uh, 18 years old, a couple of times. Uh, in the Another man was shot multiple times that same day. Baltimore police responding to two other shootings. 1102 Saturday, you had one down. That was like a number one male, orange shirt, I mean, orange shorts, white sneakers, several people standing around. And two weeks ago, Baltimore police responding to this shooting in Fells Point, captured on camera. Although homicides and non-fatal shootings are down year to date. You got more people out, so it's going to be more opportunity for the criminal element. According to the latest BPD data, Homicides are up 27% and non-fatal shootings 48% in the last 28 days. Law enforcement expert Joe Ested says Baltimore should be prepared to see even more shootings and homicides. Anytime you, the temperature gets warmer and you add a more uh, increase the population in those particular areas, you're going to have conflict. In the last seven days, non-fatal shootings and homicides are up 33% and 100 percent respectively. Normally, when we look at these trends, when it starts high and we're com and we're trying to combat that with, with low numbers, it's I can see it only getting worse. With the official start of summer underway, Ested says he expects the bullets will be blazing. This early in the game, you know, it's not even July yet and it's only going to get hotter. Meanwhile, in those three shootings from Tuesday and that one from Wednesday, police are still looking for a suspect or suspects. They're asking if you know anything to call Metro Crime Stoppers. For now, we're live at BPD headquarters, Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.